Hello, I'm Jacques Hadron. I would like to continue my lectures on French astrology so that you know what is going on in France and uh, especially what is going on today, in this year, this end of 2014. And what, are be, what have been the last latest developments on, on, about astrology? And I would like to return to, to redevelop certain considerations about um, Saturn, which as you know my favorite planet for astrology, the planet which I think is the planet by excellence of astrology. And I would like to explain to you uh, certain changes in my description my interpretation of this cycle. It's a very simple idea which I have started to promote recently. Uh, I have left the idea which I probably developed too drastically in the past, that is that the two movements, the two moments of Saturn, the time of conjunction and the time of disjunction, and I will not return on that necessarily, these two movements and moments are not in opposition. You don't have to differentiate them as two very different moments. A tendency that we have in astrology quite often. I prefer to speak now about uh, an evolution Uh, sort of evolution like passing from spring to to summer or to, from autumn to winter from equinoxes to solstices and what does that mean? well it's like considering a man aged aged uh, who is, uh, who is 30 years old and the same man who is 50 years old. Well, it might not be too easy to separate those two images of the same person, only different by the fact that one is younger or older than the other. So, I mean. so, this is a reason why astrologers have too often preferred to make very clear cut distinctions between the different times, different periods, different moments of the cycle. Why, according to me, it is a continuous process and a rather subtle process but still I, I would like to use the images that is current in, rugby, in the game of rugby which is essay and transformation of the essay if it's the right expression technically I'm not sure The first stage is the essay, the attempt, the beginning of something which is still rather weak and fragile and not so easy to discover and to describe and to identify. And the second stage 
will be on the contrary a confirmation, a consecration, and something much more uh, obvious, much more spectacular, theatrical. And this is what separates the disjunction when Saturn is far away from the fixed star, the royal fixed star, one of the royal fixed stars, the four royal fixed stars. And the other moment is when Saturn is on the conjunction, is conjuncted with one of those four fixed stars. And you can imagine that the disjunction is some sort of virtual conjunction. It's not yet done. It's not yet uh, achieved. See? Well, the conjunction is really a thing. I mean, it's really when it happens, when, when the object, when the objective, when the target has been reached eventually. I will give you some examples of what, how you can use my system. Because in fact, what is required, expected from the structure, is a very simple thing. He is expected to tell us if what we can see a certain event at a certain moment is in its first or second stage. If it's the first stage, you have to expect a prolongation, a development, uh, something which goes higher, more strongly in the future. On the contrary, if it is the second stage, you can expect that there will be a decline. There will be uh, something will be, which will be weaker than before. So instead of going on and on and on, then if you are already at the summit, you will have a descent. So it's quite different. So it's quite a precious information, even if it's something very, very limited in words. No, because the idea is precisely to say, well, it's stage one or stage two, that's all. In many cases, if you know that something is at stage one, you have to be very careful because what you have seen is only the beginning of something bigger. If you are astronomically, in an astrological way, in stage two, then you have to be more optimistic in a certain way. Because, well, if it's something a bit dangerous, of course, if it's a menace. You have to believe that sooner or later, I mean, it's more, it's actually, you know when it's going to be, because there are very pre precise astronomical references. Sooner or later, still there is a certain margin of time, sooner or later they, there will be a regression. Uh, something will which will be less intense, less strong than it was before, at least for a while. Why, why I say why for a while? Because afterwards, if you continue in the future, from period of three and a half years to three and a half years, etc., and so on, then you will have a return to the conjunction, the next conjunction, and you will have um, a, a, a new intense uh, uh, advancing. Yeah. So this is a very simple game, very simple system, which makes sense when you know what you are working with. I mean, you have to apply this to a certain situation. Like when you want to use a microscope, you have or a telescope, you have to orient it in a certain direction. 
It's a tool you have to apply to practice in a concrete situation. So we can only, as astrologers of this Saturn system, propose this tool to anybody who has a competence, who has a knowledge of the Saturn field, a chronological knowledge, preferably, because this is what it is about, chronology, and that's it. This person will learn very quickly, in a few minutes, I would say, at least in a few hours, what it is all about, and you will have you will be in a position to apply this scheme to the field he knows better, he knows best. To check in what way it can work. I will give you to end my little speech an example, and maybe a few examples. To show that in many cases we don't know what to think about an event. We don't know the future of an event. The most famous case is of course what happened in the Second World War. World War. In 1940, 1939, 1940, Hitler invaded Poland and the next year invaded France but in both cases he was limited in his action in the first case he was limited because he had to find a, a, an agreement with Russia with UR with S, USSR because they have they had a deal that they would share Poland between themselves so he has to, sh to share. And on the case of France, he's also sharing. He will say, well, okay, here I am, Hitler, in this part of France. And the other part of France I give to Pétain, to Philippe Pétain, Marshal Pétain. And a little more, maybe some, that, that's all. Well, okay, let's not speak about the Italians. Um, but this was not only a beginning, a commencement. After two years, what happened? In, in 1941, uh, Hitler decides, through Operation Barbarossa, to invade the Russians and their territories and their empire. So he's not any longer limiting himself. And he's also decide, he also decided to invade the rest of France, which was until then a free zone, a zone libre, they would say, for several reasons. So you can see very well what happens in first stage one and stage two. Stage one is compromising limiting, not going too far, reassuring in a certain way, low profile in a certain way, not too low, but low profile still, and then you have to fear what's going on afterwards. If in 1940 we would have been in a period dominate which would be already a period of conjunction, then we would have said, well, there will be no progression and sooner or later it will decline. There will be a return to a more reasonable position. But since it was only stage one, the contrary, there will be an evolution which will be less and less normal and reasonable. And that's what's happened. 
So I give, could give you many examples. But you see my conception of astrology? It's just a matter of degree. It's not a matter of differences, essential differences. It's a matter of degree. And the interest of having a matter of degree is very interesting because you cannot, you have really an astrology which is strongly and viscerally connected with the idea of time. There's nothing like, I am Aries, I am Taurus, and I am such and such type, or such and such person. No. There's not, this uh, use, usage is employment of astrology as being a mode of classification of people is something I refuse totally, totally. So I, what I, in conclusion, I just repeat myself. I say, okay, degrees. Astrology has to do with degrees, which is also a word which we use, of course, in astronomy, a certain degree, a planet is at a certain degree, okay. Astrology tells us, if you prefer, it's a sort of scale, like you have scale for earthquakes, you know, okay. Well, here we are, here we are at a certain moment, and there is a scale that is also ascending and descending. So a sort of ghost curve. Where are we at this moment? That's a question. Are we here? Are we there? Are we climbing, mounting, or descending? That's all. That's all there is to know. And there's very precious information, very valuable information, really. 